Okay, you guys, we're now going to take a look at exercise 6-4 on page 350. I determine the combined present value as of December 31, 2016 of the following four payments to be received at the end of each of the designated years, assuming an annual interest rate of 8%. Okay, our interest rate each year is 8%. We're receiving different amounts each year, so it's not equal cash payments over time, so it's not an annuity, which would be equal cash payments over time. These are just single sums to be received in the future, $5,000, 6, 1,000, 8,000, and 9,000. Okay, the interest rate each time is eight percent. How many interest payment periods is eight percent annually? How many interest payment periods until we receive the five thousand? Well, it's going to be from December thirty-one, twenty sixteen, to December thirty-one, twenty seventeen. So one year, two years for the six thousand. Then they get a little tricky here. It goes to twenty twenty. Um, which is four years from 2016 and then 22 is six years so be careful on the number of periods don't just go one two three four if you're dealing with four years okay what we want to know is the present value meaning $5,000 to be received one year from now, assuming an annual interest rate of 8%, how much is it worth today? So we need to go to the table, um, present value of $1, not one explanation point, but $1. It's the table we used before, um, and it's in the back of your textbook in the Appendix P, as in peanuts, we're going to go to page P2, I believe it was, yes, page P2, okay, we're going to come over to the 8% column and come down one period, 0.92593. payment to be received one year from now. Present value of the 5000 in one year, assuming that 8% interest rate is $4,630. Okay, 8% at two periods equal to 0.85734 times the payment amount, 6000 Then the 8,000 is going to be received in four years, so let's come down in the 8% column to four periods. So it's equal to 0 0.73503 times the payment amount of 8,000. And then we'll come down to six periods in the 8% column. It's equal to 0.63017. times 9,000, you get 5,672. And we've talked about already what this means, but um, we mentioned the 5,000 uh, one year from now, assuming an 8% interest rate is worth $4,630 on today or December 31st, 2016. The $6,000 to be received two years from now is worth $5,144, assuming that 8% interest rate on December 31st, uh, 2016. Maybe I should change this. Let's cut this. Put it here. Present value 
And then I'm going to put 12 slash 31 slash 16. There we go. Present value on that date. Okay, then the $8,000, assuming an 8% interest rate, four years from 12-31-16 is worth $5,880. And then the $9,000, assuming the 8% interest rate for six, uh, six years, that's 8% for a year, is only worth $5,672. Today, today being December 31st, 2016. Now they want to know what the combined present value is um, for all four of the payments that we're going to receive in the future. So to get that, we just add them together. And we get 21325 Okay, I want to try adding that together again. So if you, don't, you might have noticed this yourself. Each of these are these numbers, two of them end with zero. One ends with a four and one ends with a two. So the last number here would have to be a six. So for some reason that sum function didn't work for me here. I'm not sure why. There we go. Now I got twenty five again. We're still ending with a four and a two. Didn't work. Okay, let's try it like this. I guess it's just due to some rounding when we're multiplying by these uh, let's see what was it five digit decimal places I have this set to show no change so I guess it just rounded uh, please know here's not gonna count off for a dollar either way <clears throat> but I just found that odd probably shouldn't have gone on about it so long but after you um, work this one with me I don't think you'll have any trouble with the exercise six four um, homework problem on Connect Plus. If you have any questions, please be in touch, and we'll keep moving with Chapter 6. Thanks.